I'm Shannon and I'm going to show you how to make a handmade clasp um, with non-tarnish <clears throat> soft wire. It's, it's non-tarnish silver plated copper wire. It's called artistic wire. You're going to need um, your nylon pliers. These are the pliers that have the, uh, the nylon blocks on them for straightening wire and holding wire so that you don't scratch it up. Uh, your cutters. Sorry, this is my first video, so bear with me. Okay, and then you're going to need your round nose pliers. Round nose pliers. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure your wire is um, straight, soft, and pliable, and it's it's um, fun to use on certain projects. I like to use it a lot, actually. I make my eight. I use 18 gauge for my clasps. It comes from 18 to down to oh, like 26, I believe. Okay, you take your round nose pliers and you give it a good small curl. So you have a small curl. You take your nylon pliers and you just push up gently to make that first curl and then you hold that curl in your pliers and you hold it like that and then you keep rolling you, you're starting to look like this and then you just keep rolling keep it nice and tight and you end up with about that much. You can make them bigger, smaller, whatever you want. <laughs> oh, and uh, if you get out of place, you just kind of hold the curl. You hold all the bits that you've already curled with the, the nylon pliers so that they stay all straight and nice. And then you take your bead reamer, which is a tool that you use to, uh, to make holes bigger in certain beads. I just use the handle to make a curl. And however big you want your curl to be. And let me do that for you again. You just wrap it around your handle to make the little curl. You end up with that. And then you just cut it down a little bit. About right there, I just eye it because it doesn't really matter. You don't want to make it too long because be, the clasp will just be too big. Then you take your round nose pliers and you curl that little end there. If you can see that. My hand's in the way. <laughs> And then you take your, your nylon pliers and you kind of squish it some more and straighten it out because it gets out of whack. And then you end up with this. Take your round nose pliers and you go to the very bottom of, you go to the very bottom and you curl it around like so you're making a figure eight so you grab the other end and you curl it the opposite way make sure you don't catch the square part like I just did and then I kind of smash it together a little bit and then cut it and you want to try and cut it slanted on the back. Looks like a figure eight. And there you have you can't really it's really small, it's hard to uh, show you guys, but there you go. Okay, thanks for watching. This is my first um, video to teach you how to make jewelry things. I just thought that would be 